Hey guys, I'm Jerry Mitchell, and I've got a blast from the past right here in front of me. It's an H&K 770 semi-automatic sporting rifle. It's chambered in 308 Winchester or 762 by 51 NATO, so it's kind of a unique platform. It's got a polygon rifling, uh, rifling in the barrel. It's about an 18 and a half inch barrel. It's got a bit of a flash suppressor on the front with an adjustable sight, a flip up rear sight for windage. Uh, it has a very unique action in the aspect. It uses two roller to lock, two roller locking uh, features in the boat. It's a very fast action. And I know what you're thinking. Let's go ahead and shoot this thing. So I've got the standard magazine here, a three shot magazine. And we'll shoot those paper targets down range left to right and see what it sounds like. Here we go. All right. So that was three shots on target. One thing about this roller locking mechanism on the boat. It's such a fast and brutal operation that the, there's no boat hold, op, uh, hold open feature. So after the last shot, the boat was closed. Have a pretty massive charging handle here too, guys. This is one of these rifles. If you want to cock it, you got to get with it. Got to get with the program. So you can see it's, it's rather large, but that's what makes it reliable. So we've got three rounds downrange, and let's go take a look at the targets. As you can see, guys, even without my shooting glasses. It was pretty, pretty easy to hit the center of the target, so we're going to go ahead and tape them up. Uh, that little blade front sight, I used to see that thing back in about 1985, but now it's kind of hard to see. It's a good excuse anyway. <laughs> we're going to change it up a little bit, guys. We're going to go back and top that magazine off. One thing about that platform that's an extremely fast cycling uh, semi-automatic rifle, so I'm going to go back and see how I can punch out four rounds as fast as I can and just see how quick we can do that. Hey guys, I'm going to show you something pretty cool. They actually made a 10 round magazine for it. And this was a holdover from the SL7 rifle series. So it also fits the uh, 770. So one thing I want you to notice is how far this thing ejects the case out of the right side. They usually go about 20 yards. So I've got 10 rounds. I got a timer. So let's shoot one target as fast as we can. All right. Tar target on the left. 10 rounds. Here we go. What? <laughs> that was kind of fun, guys. Hey, guys. <laughs> Even with my old eyes, I could actually hit that target. What was pretty exciting, that's the first time I ever shot this thing rapid fire. What I noticed as a, as a shooter is this action is extremely quick. So even though I was firing it, what I thought I was, what, what fast as I could pull the trigger, it, the, the, it was waiting on me to shoot. So give you an idea, that was 149, 100, a little under one and a half seconds to put 10 rounds on target without any practice whatsoever. But this was really exciting for me. This thing's extremely fast. So I've got an idea, guys. I'll show you just how violent the extraction is on this thing and what made it such a, a very reliable sporting rifle. I put one round of ammo in it. I'm going to step to the side here and take a knee. And you watch that brass hit that target. I'll give you an idea just how fast this thing cycles and how hard it extracts a fired case. All right, here we go, guys. Watch the, watch the target. As you can see, <laughs> it hit that target pretty hard. I have to try to find that case, but that's what made that SL7 and the H&K 770 such a reliable sporting guns. It had a very vigorous very vigorous extraction cycle. Okay, we're on a rifle range. We're at 200 yards. I've got a piece of uh, 500 Brunel steel. I've got some 150 grain hunting ammo here. So let's see what this H&K 770 can do at 200. I'm kind of excited to see. I've never really done this before. All right, <laughs> let's do it. All right, got three rounds in the magazine. There we go. All right, all right, let's do it.
All right, there's one. Let it settle down a little bit. There's two. And there's three. All right, so we're clear. Go ahead and take the mag out, lock the boat back. So we're clear. Looks like it shot about a three inch group, so we're gonna go down and take a look at it. Okay, we're down at our target here at 200 yards, and uh, I call it about three inch group off the bench, and let's actually put a tape measure on it. And it is, uh, it's actually two and three quarter inch group. So we've got a two and three, uh, two and three quarter inch group at 200 yards with the first ammunition we put in it, which is a reload of mine with 150 grain soft point on used casings. So it's not bad considering if you just uh, work with it a little bit, I think you get it to shoot a little bit better. But give you an idea, this was actually a series of rifles. The first one was a model 630, which was in 556 or 223, and the 770 is 308 and the 940 was 30 odd six. And the only thing they changed was the actual size of the receiver. They all used the same uh, roller block bolt assembly. Uh, so kind of give you an idea of what was available back in the early 80s. It's kind of a very unique platform, quick detachable scope. That was something the Germans have always been very keen on. You can take it off and reattach it without a loss of zero. So nice feature. Five, a three round mag and a 10 round mag. No excuses not to have a good hunt. So there it is guys, H&K 770.